We're here, dude. We're live. It could it could crap out at any moment, though. So dude, be ready for that. I mean, in these end days, dude, that's all that can be. Ha- I mean, the transmission is definitely going to get severed. Sometimes the transmissions are tough, dude. How are you? I miss you, dude. I miss you, man. I miss you bad. I fucking genuinely miss you. I was thinking about how fucking sick our life would be right now if we were up in the studio. I, I know this is bullshit. We should be ripped in the studio with sick vid for everybody. First of all, what's, cool that, desk? what's that behind you up to the top right corner, bro? What's on that wall? Where? Top right corner, wooden plaque above the fridge. I don't know, a bunch of wine openers. Oh, okay. I thought it was uh, I thought it was some sort of different calligraphy. I was like, what the? Where the fuck are you, Shane? Oh, you thought it was Asian? I thought it was, thought it was Mandarin, bro. I was like, yo, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, they won. The chat comps won, dude. I went full. I bowed. I thought, to I thought they had you quarantined in China. I was like, fuck, dude, you're locked down. We got to get you out. Oh, if I was fibbing everybody about my whereabouts. <laughs> you're quarantined. I was in actually China. in Wuhan. <laughs> you are patient zero. Me. No, dude, I got fucking red pilled hard by Alex Jones this week. What? Yo, how far? Which video did you watch? I just watched the whole. Uh, you can watch them all live, like the next day. You can watch the full episode. Where, so I just watched the last. What's he on? Right? Is he on YouTube? What's like what channel? What thing? He's is he on, on? Band Band video. video. Band dot video, dude. That Band video. Dot video. The one of him saying that he knows who Q is and he's giving Q two weeks to come out might be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, it's it's so funny that he's jealous of Q and all the shine <laughs> Q gets. And everyone's like, dude, Alex Jones is an Israeli informant, and he's like, oh, oh, I'm Q. <laughs> Fucking yeah. sick. I like it. I mean, dude, to, to be like to hear about Q and be like, yeah, obviously Q sweats the fuck out of me. That's like the, the you have to be just the best to be like trying to know who Q is to casually be like, you guys don't know who Q I'll is. I'll tell you okay. who Q is. Yeah, I'll tell you who Q is right now, dude. Q's on my dick, dude. Two just because I'm out here telling the truth. He's true. like, I'm telling the truth. Q's afraid. I, the reason people doubt me is because my weapon is truth. Look, dude. <laughs> here's the truth. You need to get some fucking zinc. And some True. vitamin D three, that's all you and need. And some vitamin C, and you're gonna you're gonna beat this virus. And that's it's not even need. Matt. I'll tell you something, it's not some natural virus. This is clearly man made. If you if you put this under a microscope, you'd be able to see it. It's like seeing tits that have like scars. Really, like, bro? Those are fake. Did you see the thing oh, on like COVID? Come on, man. Did you see the thing on? Uh... It's fake. This was made. The Chicoms made this, and it leaked out of their factory. It's I mean, it's a stage four level containment in wuhan mm-hmm. but it definitely it definitely leaked they have leaks all the time whether this was intentional or not this was a bioweapon from the chai comps i don't think it was a know it so i i watched a, uh, a video on youtube from a guy who had lived in china for 10 years who came back and he was yeah. saying that this was an accident but the cover-up is real so they were apparently he's like this oh, is all public the records cover-ups, very very real well he was saying you can look up all these records a lady was studying the links between bats and coronaviruses and the, the, specifically the transmission from coronavirus from bats to humans and apparently when you isolate a virus this is according to the video when you isolate well, a virus, she t- i think she took her work home and i think probably her husband got into the fridge and fucking was like oh nice <laughs> just munched a bat <laughs> you have a dream job dude <laughs> researching pizza here yeah, they uh <laughs> apparently when you when you study a virus, you gotta like amp it up she's a little bit. Does, she's studying pizzas. <laughs> she's like, I wanna find out if there's a connection between stuff crust and <laughs> mozzarella stick. Just some husband opens opens the fridge, finds a container of bats, and it's just like perfect. I was <laughs> just a late night snack. It's like when my brother used to work at Wings to Go, I was like, You have the best job ever, dude. That is the best job. Well, Remember when you were young and you thought like being a male porn star would be like the best job. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yeah, that'd be so sick, dude. A male porn star might be the biggest loser on earth. <laughs> dude, except for, you know who kills it as a male porn star? Do you ever get like, there's like a, a whole world of like solo renegade black dudes who it's just their channel and they'll just, they just pipe bait. There's one guy. I yeah, yeah, name. yeah. No, don't get me wrong. Some of these dudes definitely rule. Oh, no, no, you also know. Like, You're right. Like Most a real horrible life. It's still sad. It's so fucking sad. The, uh, yeah. I mean, imagine, you know, doing this podcast. Imagine if this podcast was just me fucking you every week. And it's like. Well, I'd be fucking you. What, but yeah, sure. what time? <laughs> it would be 69. But what, what, uh, would there be, so you'd be on top in the 69. Dude, there's one guy who all he does <laughs> is the prone bone. 
where he just he goes in a plank position and the girl lays on her stomach and he does basically like a plank and he just rocks it dude and his all his videos are hashtag prone bone and he has one position wow and he's sensual he's very passionate wow. like, like i don't know pop. how I feel about the sensuality like the it, <laughs> porn stars when it's clearly porn stars like making out while they're fucking i'm gonna it. it's i love it I need to say, I like, I need I like the amateurs. I like the amateurs being sensual. True. Well, this, this is pretty, going. this is pretty am. This is pretty amma. This uh, is like this. It, he'll like pull out and like lick up her spinal cord from like her sacrum up to her neck. Dude, it's so funny. And then he gets right back into prone bone. He has one position, dude. He has just, just would dry your tongue out. You'd, you'd have a dry tongue by the time you got to the top of that. True. <laughs> be like a cat licking you. <laughs> dude, hashtag prone bone, dude. That's the only position from now on. Look, on dude, elbows. I don't, I don't have time for your junk, dude. I got red pilled. I'm taking dude, the spear again. Where do you stand on fluoride? It, there's not even a question, Matt. The government's putting it in there to fucking kill us, dude. I read an article in the Atlantic about fluoride, which Atlantic is like a you know, supposedly like a pretty tempered publication. So this guy did a, a research thing. I guess to, a couple of people have done this to make fun of like people who freak out about fluoride, and yeah. turns out there's no real scientific consensus. What is, what is it with journalists trying to like quell and ruin conspiracies constantly? Because like, it's cool. I looked up, I looked up the, the yeah, truth. Journalists just ruin everything. The, uh, <laughs> where the fucking Lyme disease came from. Yeah. All right. You ever hear about that? No. Where did it come from? All right. So there's a, there's a, I mean, this is level three stuff. This okay. is mostly animal disease kind of like figuring shit out. It's on Q level Island. clearance. Q level clearance. It's it's light light clearance. You and me might be able to get a job there. Just okay. based off this. If we our resume was this cast, they'd be like, all right, you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> it's it's a they it's an animal disease like facility on Plum Island. It's off like Long Island in New mm -hmm. York. It's a military base. Now in two thousand two I think it was bought by Homeland Security, but it used to be Department of Agriculture. And then nineteen seventy when 1975, I think, when Lyme disease broke out, mm -hmm. it was from, like, contaminated. They were like, it's probably from Plum Island. It's in Lyme, Connecticut, which is right across the water from there. And they're like, it's probably either from birds or from deer can swim. Sometimes deer get wild and swim. And they think some deer got out of that. Uh, I think that means deer swam, like, 40 miles. What? That's impossible. Hold on. So, wait. I thought it was from a tick. Yeah, ticks on those deer. So the tick from the deer transmitted it to humans. Yeah, but it was from allegedly it was from Plum Island and like government testing on that. Like a Plum Island is that in China? Yes, <laughs> it's in China, Long Island, Connecticut, Connecticut Long Island, China. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing about the bats in the fridge. How like you know everyone's like they don't oh, have dude. heart attacks in China. It's like okay, yeah, but like every now and again you eat the wrong thing, you're like. Ugh! <laughs> it's like yeah they they're all natural over there eastern medicine it's like yeah they also fucking like slurp salamanders <laughs> just mid fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think about during the super bowl party someone just lays down a, a plate of like crawling animals <laughs> you gotta catch them and eat them <laughs> you gotta beat the fuck out you gotta neutralize them <laughs> Dude, the, that's pretty. Dude, the um, <laughs> neutral. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're nice. They're bringing out the guinea pigs. <laughs> We're gonna eat some gerbils at halftime. That could be how you get so good at chopping planks in half. Because, like, imagine, yeah, you know, we can open Doritos boxes, but imagine if you had to like crack a live crate, like a wooden crate, every time you wanted to munch, dude, you'd be like, like fuck, I always fucking open it everywhere. <laughs> you gotta punch through a wooden crate. <laughs> a bunch of fucking animals head. <laughs> Dude, the, um, oh, dude, it's yeah, the, so good. Dude, the fluoride thing is real, man. I looked into dude, it. Dude, what is? Why is it so funny that they eat different things? It's so funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's really, it makes it even more funny that people get upset. Like you're not allowed to make fun of that. It's like dude, they're eating funny animals. It's funny. They're, they definitely. Are. I mean, eating a bat is. I mean, Ozzy Osbourne again. He ate a bat and everyone yeah. freaked out. Everyone's like, damn, that was crazy. But yeah. if Ozzy Osbourne eats a bat, you can say he's like a twisted weirdo. But if a Chinese person eats a bat, you have to be like, yeah. Well, that's fucking, that's their culture. Maybe yeah. all Chinese are just dark, twisted fucking. Metalheads? Maybe they're just a little twisted, bro. <laughs> they could be. Maybe they're a little fucking twisted. Maybe they're Black Sabbath. <laughs> a Brekka Sabaru. <laughs> that's their national anthem. 
the generals <laughs> gathered in the masses. Um, Gen- General so <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, come on, chill, chill, chill. Oh, oh boy. None of it's even funny. None of it's even funny. It's just junk, dude. That is well, that's pretty funny. General so is gathered in the masses. Is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> the um, but yeah, dude, they they have no consensus on fluoride, man. At really? the time of the Manhattan Project, this is I mean, this is beyond cute. I mean, this, this is yeah, all redacted. All at the time of the Manhattan Project, they but were we sources part of uh, I guess enriching plutonium or something one of the byproducts of the experiments they were doing to make nuclear weapons created a ton of fluoride and it was just le- it was seeching it it was going into the groundwater and then right yeah. around that time they were like fuck this sucks and they're like something came out where all that where there was heavy fluoride from all this activity they were like people have a little bit less cavities there and they were like fuck it run that and they started studying and putting it out but they've looked at these studies retroactively there's thousands of them and by today's standards in terms of like protocol of like the variables and all this stuff, like three of them stand up and they're, they're vague and shaky. So oh, that fluoride salesman must be a hell of a salesman. Well, it was every, it was just, it, they had enough, this shit was leaking into the ground. So they were God, like, man. what the fuck are we going to do about this? Like, Oh, this is good for your teeth. We're actually, we're adding this to your water. It was already in some water. So wait, fluoride's in our water just to help our teeth. Just the just to help, and it doesn't do. The only thing they say it do, it's a last ditch effort for people who don't brush their teeth. That's how they that's how they rationalize it now. They say, well, yeah, you and I don't need fluoride, but there's some people who are so poor they don't brush their teeth, and this will help them from the, all their teeth falling out. That's it. There's that's 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 all, and because you you have fluoride in your toothpaste, so why would you need to drink it? It makes no it makes no sense why they put it in there. Yeah. But the funny thing is, apparently everyone used to lose their teeth back in like GW's day in George Washington. 1776. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know there was like an illicit tooth, like a tooth trade? Like George Washington yeah. had, he had horse teeth in his mouth. He had well, all right, he had wooden teeth. He also had some slaves' teeth in there. Slave, bro. I saw that, dude. He had, a he had some slaves' teeth in there. It's no good, dude. He had a set of dentures made from his own pulled teeth from donkey and horse up top. A he had a cow tooth, and then he had yeah slave teeth. <laughs> he had some slave teeth in there, which is that's pretty made, brutal. That's why they made grills, dude, to protect from fucking get your teeth. Yeah. From, from a founding father coming in and <laughs> snatching your teeth, that's dude. If your mouth is icy enough, they're like, all right, all right, all right never mind. Yeah, <laughs> if you, that's funny. White people have tooth fairies. Black people have founding fathers come in at night and snatch your teeth, dude. <laughs> dude, that could be where the tooth fairy came from. I'll be yeah, like, I'll we'll give you a couple bucks. Cent. On the battlefields back then, dude, they would go for the soldiers. As soon as if someone was dead, you would just if you're on the battlefield, you would pop teeth out of everybody, and you go home and you'd have mad fucking teeth. You're like, yo, who needs chomps? Damn, dude, George Washington had a donkey and a cow tooth in his, <laughs> in his head. <laughs> That's freaking nuts. GW, dude, my president. I know the god. That's why everyone's like, <sighs> sorry, I'm itching my, my nose itch. He, uh, there. Everybody's always talking about how like stoic and silent he was. It's just like, yeah, he couldn't talk all. He's like. <laughs> He had to, he had to, he had say, yeah i'll do it he <laughs> couldn't tell everyone was like wow man a few words wow what a great guy so he had fucking cow teeth and slave teeth <laughs> his, his mouth teeth. must he must have had like a molar in his front buck dude his mouth must have made no <laughs> sense <laughs> he said four canines up front a big cow tooth here it's like fuck dude my nose is just so my allergies <laughs> My allergies are killing me here, bro. Dude, yeah, you probably had like riffraff. You ever see riffraff squirrel yeah. that's like all, all shark teeth? Dude, that was fucking, that was killing me. Dude, so maybe fluoride worked, dude. We all have, we got some great teeth here in America. No, it's because we, we like actually eat and stuff back then. They wouldn't eat forever. Yeah, they true. Nobody brushed true. their teeth. But then our sugar consumption's up. And there's, there's, they did a study too of countries who never did fluoride. In their cavities and countries who did do fluoride and stopped it, no different. We, for some reason, have fluoride in our water. It's not apparent as to what it does. So well, maybe they'll stop. I don't think so. Well, maybe eventually. If Yang, Yang, I don't know, who's fluoride, it helping? I don't fucking know. I mean, if you well, if you own a chemical company and you've been selling, I mean, That's what how I mean. much? It's just like how many people are in on fluoride? Probably like. 10 dudes are getting rich off the entire country hey, drinking dude. fluoride like this, <laughs> yeah, but just this. for no reason <laughs> like how much is it's probably the price is probably locked in it's just an all it's just stuff you make they, they probably don't even put it in anymore they're probably like yeah, yeah. give us a billion dollars for all the fluoride we're putting in the water and like okay cool 
But yeah, that was that was fucking me up, dude. Yeah. That you gotta figure out Plum Island, bro. Wait, wait till you look into that. So Lyme, so they were researching Lyme disease. I don't know. Probably. They were like, "How can we take down landscape?" Dude, there's all these. There's all these like. Yeah, true. <laughs> How they were like, there's all these fucking bio, bio weapon facilities that just are terrifying and pointless. Stay for, well, yeah, I mean, dude, this if you don't. That's the thing too. It's okay. crazy. This one's not a bio. You know, we could say eh, this one's not a bio. Although they did say again, when you research viruses, you have to amp them up so you can kind of observe them better. And the thing is, they amped up this virus according to this video, and then it got someone got infected, and the lady that was patient zero, the government of China killed her. And if you go on the, their website of the researchers, people who had been there for years and left, their bios are still on there. Besides the one lead researcher who just has totally disappeared. And then a guy came out again saying like, yo, that was patient zero. She died. Chinese government covered that up. Murdered. The guy was dead two days later. Yeah. Uh, you go on the, he got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a good excuse for an authoritarian government to just be like, man, this pandemic's really, somehow it's just destroying all of our political enemies. Yeah, man. I think all of our political enemies have a cult. You just go around <laughs> and kill them. Well, dude, and now that, so seeing what it's capable of now. I mean, dude, you say, okay, say this one wasn't a bioweapon. Bioweapons are coming, dude. They're fucking coming. Someone's like, oh, that's all we got? A virus? All right, we can get that. Yeah. Just start, like, everyone starts spitting into a bucket. And let's fucking send this shit somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bioweps are coming, man. Some senator opens a Ziploc bag of spit, like, ew. <laughs> that's all it did. <laughs> There's no bioweapon. <laughs> Some just lands on one person like this is disgusting. Oh god damn it! Someone just goes Fuck. and immediately washes their hands and conquers <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, man. I'm, ah, they beat our virus, dude. Another month of this, man. A, possibly. It's at the at the very least. Lame, dude. A lot of people get sued. As soon as this weather gets warm, people are gonna Americans are gonna retaliate. retaliate. <laughs> Americans gonna, are gonna party, dude. They're gonna be like, "Fuck there's, this." There's no doubt. I mean, dude, how many people, you know a dude who has it, right? Yeah, I know uh, two, at least. That two have dudes got who it. had the Ronies. Both Jewish. Really? Liberals? Definitely. See? Yeah, dude, that's what happens. This is, this is a liberal disease. What do you mean, see? I've, I've called this. This disease only affects liberals, dude. All right, yeah, there is a tough, I think, it was it you and me talking about it? Where There is definitely a, like, look at me factor here where... Those tend to be liberal pussies on the internet being like, I have it. Yeah, dude. COVID I'm actually sig- very sick. Yeah, dude, COVID, COVID virtue sig- signaling yeah. is so fucking funny. You're like, my, my, my chest started crackling and I immediately took it yeah. very seriously and the president didn't get me actually, testing. I saw uh, some dude posted a thing about Louis' special day. Some dude tweeted about it and was like, I looked at his profile. As soon as somebody talks shit, I usually just check their profile to see their bio because it's always funny. The bio is yeah. always like words I've never heard. Yeah. Like anytime, if you're gay enough to like type outwardly about like, if you're tweeting against a comedian, yeah, your bio is gay. It's like chocolate. Like I looked at the bio and it's like, now it's now it's like him, her, a couple flags, like a gay flag, a fucking usually like a Palestinian flag, like some shit like that. Funny, and then yeah. like uh, his was like uh, immuno. Um. I don't know. He was basically saying he had a weak immune system. He was like immuno... Immunocompromised. Yes. That's, that's in his new, fucking Twitter bio? That's, that's a new hashtag for your bio. Is You can be like, I'm, I'm really at risk right now, guys. I'm immunocompromised. You can put that in your bio. I'm immunocompromised, so this Jesus is Christ. really hard for me. That's, that's his that's identity the, That's now. the level well, of pussy we were dealing with. He was also a gender studies, and he's like fucking 50 years old. He's yeah, but in that – pro- dude, I'm, I'm from – coming from that world and those programs, if you don't have a thing that like – if you don't have like an oppression tag, immunocompromised is up for grabs, dude. Immunocompromised is a good one. Yeah, I'm immunocompromised. I'm probably up, actually. <laughs> My immune system's on fire, dude. My immune hey, me and David like, Me and Ooh, David Icke. This is just salt life, dude. What are you sipping on? Ooh. That's yeah, salt life, baby. Me and David Ike have the same immune systems, dude. They're just on fire right now. Bro, did I tell you my new plan? What? I can't, I can't, I'm not going to name names, but all right, I'm lake life right now. I got one more week at the lake. Mm-hmm. I think I might be headed down Arizona way. Might be going desert life. Dude, that's where you need to go. Get in the heat, I'm, get in some dry I'm headed air. headed desert life. 
Damn, you're handling you're handling the sickness like a World War II soldier, dude. You're just getting out to like a hot, dry climate. Back yeah, when people used to get tuberculosis, they're like, yeah, you, gotta you can just, get to Arizona, but you'll be fine, I guess. Might, if not, yeah, you have dead. a chance. <laughs> dude, we, oh yeah, that white trash book we were talking yep. about. Well, you gave me. That's great. Arizona way. Arizona way. Yeah, how, was nice. How funny was it when dudes like like around the Mississippi River would just get fucking like uh, malaria? Mm-hmm. And then they would all just get like horrible like shakes and fevers like every spring. <laughs> They'd be like, well, that's just what happens in Ohio. Yeah, it's just the deal. <laughs> it's like you get the Ohio shakes around the springtime. It's like, oh, that was malaria. We That's just thought it was Ohio. <laughs> Damn. Dude, I'm I'm still on the fence, man. I'm like, you know, I what I want to see, and I don't it's weird they can track COVID, but if I'm like, well, how many people have died from the flu since there's been COVID at the same time? You're like, well, we don't have the official data on the flu yet. It's like Okay. Well, the flu's gonna be I mean, the flu's gonna be higher, I think, by Quite a bit, right? Right now, that isn't. Uh, so we've well, only had COVID for a little bit, and motherfuckers are dropping. People are getting fucked up. COVID's fucking people up. The flu, the, 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 number, is fucking people the number on the dude. flu is like either twenty nine thousand or seventy thousand people die a year, and it's like, well, which fucking one? Who's mailing yeah. in the research well, on it's that geezers, one? Dude, like, I've, oh, dude, my grandma just died. I have no idea how she died. COVID. I have no idea how she died. No, it was before COVID, but. There's no dude. Geezers don't get autopsies, so they're like twenty thousand, maybe one hundred fifty thousand for the flu. Who yeah, knows? Wonder, when you're that old, I wonder like if how that experience is for like the guy who dresses up the bodies and stuff. I wonder if they're just like, do you think they're a little bit rougher with the geezers, where they're like <laughs> push them down? Like, <laughs> fucking Christ, what the fuck? Who gives a shit? What like if, the if, one if who a, like puts stick, makeup on them? Yeah, they just fucking just like. They shove probably, them. They're probably a little probably rougher with the bitch. geese. Is it a morgue? Probably like slam the fucking. Damn, dude, think how, think how they feel about like doing the makeup on like a hot young baby that died. Not a baby, but like a hot young girl. Yeah. Just or, some yeah. creep that does makeup on dead bodies. Just Ew, like, yeah, dude. it's very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> I want to start a, uh, I want Rocky to do one more movie where his like son works in a morgue. And then instead of the fucking, uh, instead of the kids, instead of the beef, like half season. <laughs> <laughs> i was telling i was telling uh i was telling beezer he needs to he needs to have a son and name him rocky oh. so his name's rocky six <laughs> that was killing me that's hilarious <laughs> he laughed so hard dude it's my son rocky six <laughs> oh, man. oh my god it's good to talk to you bro it is man i was uh yeah i was fucking it's missing you, dude. It's been things too are long. Good. I'm, things are good right now. I mean, it sucks that there's this pandemic, but we got a boat on this lake, so yeah. and it's nice out. We're doing a little fishing. I haven't caught a thing, but it's fun. It's nice. I was fishing, hooking some night crawlers. Fishing with night crawlers sucks, dude. Wait, you guys using live bait still? I'm using power live bait. bait? Yeah. <laughs> no power bait. Well, he got some. O'Connor got some power bait. <laughs> So what happened? I got you're, some crawlers. You're, you're telling me you guys are getting. You guys are oh getting yeah, I asked that guy for power bait, and that fucking hillbilly crushed me on it. Have we done a cast since then? <laughs> no. Yeah, we we went down to buy fishing rod, and we're all pussies. So like, none of us really like know what the fuck we're doing. And I was like, "Can you just hook us up?" <laughs> <laughs> Kyla, dude, no respect. Cutting right Bro, through the fucking. If frame. we would have, <laughs> yeah, it's Kyla. If, if we would have, uh. If we did make a reality show like a fucking real world show and just put everybody in a house like this for like a month, it would be the funniest fucking video of all time. That would be hilarious. Dude, people turn on each other after a day. One day, everybody here hated each other. Yeah, how it's is that? It's not stopped, dude. Because it, it, it's like a vacation and not a vacation. It's kind of weird. Almost, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it should be a vacation, but it's kind of just like we're kind of stuck here. Yeah. It's kind of And you can't like... It is. I might fucking spaz out. <laughs> you might Michael Myers. I might Michael Myers and then head down Arizona anyway. <laughs> You're gonna, you should Andrew Cunanan in the whole house, dude. Right, I'll talk about it. I was thinking about going to live with Doug Stanhope for like two or three months. <laughs> that would be tight, dude. <laughs> Maybe like at least a month. Just one month down there at Stanhope's house. That, will he have you? Yeah, he he's very excited about it. Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it, but I I don't. My car's in New York City, and I'm, I don't feel like fucking getting it. Yeah, don't. 
So I'm just going to steal one of my parents' cars. Oh, so you're going to head back to Pennsylvania? I'm going to drive to Mechanicsburg. I'm going to head Pennsylvania way. <laughs> and then I got dead to head down Arizona way, which is like a three-day drive. But I'm Dude. going to steal my – so I told my parents. I was like, I need, to, I need to take one of your cars. First off, you guys don't need a car. You only have two. You're doing them a favor by Users taking better it. stay inside. Yep. You should China so, them, dude. You should you should uh you should China them. You should force them inside, lock them down, and take their car. I I totally am trying. I've been and then like, lie. you guys better it's not like, fucking I leave. I don't have their car. What are they talking I'm about? I'm taking their car. I should have lied about where I was going. <laughs> I told them I was going to hang out with Doug Stanhope, and then my mom Googled Doug Stanhope. I was like, You're not going down there. <laughs> it's like, Mom, literally in the group text, my family group text, I was like, I'm trying to drag this family out of mediocrity. Let me become great, mom. You fucking. T- <laughs> <laughs> they got upset that I said our family was in mediocrity. Damn. I read another article about uh, what's <laughs> called media, mediocre, lux- mediocre premium, premium or something. Premium mediocre. That- it's like all the shit we buy since like nobody really has money anymore. That like we just all buy bullshit furniture off the internet. That's all made out of like cardboard pulp. And like we all. Yeah. It's like we all buy knockoff counterfeit bullshit. And Absolutely. All the stuff in our house that's supposed to look like we're cool and successful is of low shit quality, and that's kind of all we can afford. <laughs> wow. That's actually – dude, this entire house is that. Yeah. This lady decorated this place. Dude, I'm looking at two, like, deer head sculptures she definitely got from, like, Target that are definitely, like, $2. They're yep. the centerpieces in this living room. There's a yep. fucking wreath over there attached to a window against a wall for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, it's crap. It's just all shit. Everything's shit. That's crap. A lot anyway, of crap for sale. The Arizona, the Arizona way trip is the move. You have to do it, dude. I have what to, you, right? What are you bringing? Yeah, I, I would. I'd get out there. I'd just bring a fucking luggage and a car and drive get, down, dude. Get to the compound. You should. It'd do, be cool to drive across the country too. It'd be awesome. You should do the Oregon Trail. Like, get to that river you had a Ford and see if you can walk across it. <laughs> get an oxen. Rent an oxen. I keep- I keep telling the group here that this is a they need I'm gonna cut their rations to meager dude. We're <laughs> flying through rations. <laughs> the rations are getting crushed. Have you seen the uh handmade and ta- handmade sale, excuse me, on No, I never watched it. It's on Hulu. It I don't gay. Know if it's new, dude. It, it it might be the worst worst piece yeah. of shit ever. I'm it seems like the gayest thing in the world to me. Bay's watching it and I'm actively rooting for the theocracy. Fuck it. theocracy rules. What I'm like actually watching. Like, like, like I, well, yeah, you you watch it and they're just like, first of all, all the girls were lesbians. They're like all before they show their life before and they're all like smoking pot and they're like, oh, you didn't know I'm a lesbian and I get abortions all the time. And then like someone just comes and like, get the fuck over here, you sluts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, someone came by and was right. <laughs> yeah, someone came by. I was like, knock it. Oh, it's funny too because I was like watching. I'm thinking about people getting fired up. It, it it's like. Handmaid's Tale is Lord of the Rings for like white feminists for like 23. They're like, yeah, this is what it's like. Yeah. Sorry, that's my bell. The uh, Your house that, bell, or you? That's my. I'll get. In, I'm not, I won't even get into that right now. I'm on a monastery time diet, but that's for later. The uh, it's pretty tight. The you're trying to eat like a monk. No, I'm trying to live like a monk. I eat like a pig. Damn. Live like a monk. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Pretty tight. I have I have a monastery bells now on my. You've been pig eating. Yeah, I eat like oh, dude, I eat like a fucking freak. The I'm um, a pig eating. Yeah, I, mean, that's another, I actually yeah. look good, dude. I might be losing weight in this. Thing. Dude, I've lost ten fucking pounds. Oh, well, you have because I haven't been going out. I haven't been going out to eat. That's how much I I guess I eat out. No, I'm gonna eat. gain weight. I'm gonna gain a lot of weight. I've been drinking. Yeah, for a drank. month. You've been drinking. I've been drinking. Dude, it is funny that like you watch Handmaid's Tale and like there's a bunch of chicks like, oh my god, what's next? We can't even kill unborn babies. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what's fucking next? <laughs> I can't kill life inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big like. Yeah, that was cool, and I think people have been trying to replicate that quite a bit ever since. Like, there's all these shows and shit constantly. Everything's like for somebody, you know. Yeah. Now, if you make a TV show or a movie, it's for a specific race, gender, and like just a group. Yeah, that's what the internet is, dude. Why are we doing that? Why don't we just make stuff for everybody? Well, they see what you like. Does it have to immediately be for a group? Yeah, man, that's how it's going. That seems weird. Yeah, I mean, Handmaid's Tale is definitely, 
And the best part too, all the main characters getting like afflicted are just like 24 year old white chicks <laughs> just getting crushed. They're like, yeah, this is what it's like. That That's start, what that, it's like for me. That, uh, that story began, started to regain popularity when Trump won. People were like, oh my God, it's the fucking Handmaid's Tale. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they dressed like that on SNL. Did they? Like that outfit. Yeah, the like red, the female, the red shit. I think yeah, the female like, cast members wore that outfit a couple of times. Jesus fucking Christ. Cool. Dude. Yeah, awesome, dude. It is funny. Yo, We've radical. talked about this on older ones. It's funny. I think you said it, actually, that it, it's just Sharia law. Handmade sale is Sharia law. Like, there's one yeah. point where the lady tries to drive by herself, and soldiers are like, stop the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Sharia law, and the women in it are like, can you even imagine anyone this bad? And we're like, yeah, yeah. well, the Muslims. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Pause. Let them whimper, dude. Those no, are good dude, dogs. Get the fuck out Take them out. Don't pause it. I want to watch you run up the steps, dude. It's no, my favorite get, part. Get it's everybody's here, favorite part of viewing this. Get out of here. See, I'll Take give him, him one more shot. One more shot. He's on no. double secret probation. He doesn't want to go upstairs. He just wants me to fucking play with him, dude. He has to get the hell out of here. Man, Matilda's so cute. Just laying there. Oh, dude, she's a sweetheart. He's a you know fucking jerk right now. The um, you gotta eat Jack soon. Nah, I'm fattening him up. Fatten him up. Yeah, oh, dude, butter my, up that cow, dude. Yeah, he looks good right now. My um, I started doing a thing, monastery time diet, dude. It's might be my favorite thing I've ever done in my. It, it's it's the new regime for sure, dude. Yeah, I set how many alarms do I have on my phone. So you now you're in the monastery. The bells just kind of go off all day and like remind you to do like karate and shit. Uh, yeah, of course. So I think this. they remind you to meditate, do karate, touch boys, dude. Look at all those alarms, dude. That's the monastery. Wow. All going all day long. Random times throughout the day. The alarm goes off. I stop and go, what am I doing? If I'm, doing, if I'm bullshitting, I go, oh, man, knock it off. So I, as soon as my alarm really? bells go off, I'm, I'm programming myself, dude. As soon as my alarm bells go off and I catch myself in a time leech, I go, oh, shit. Stop. Man, I'm what's doing. better than bullshit, Matt? Let me huh? tell you. Not you got me. different philosophies, my friend. Not me, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with a little bullshit, dude. We got to get yeah. you out on the lake. Dude, I mean, there's nothing. Get you on the boat. I'm, I'm Apollonian, for sure. You're Dionysian. No problem. No problem. Ain't no problems. Bro. One doesn't exist without the other, my man. That's true. 100%, dude. But, <laughs> dude, it's been... As soon That's as awesome I, that you're doing that. Dude, I, as soon as I they go off, I stop what I'm doing, meditate for like just a quick two minutes, nothing big, just real easy. Get myself yeah. recharged. I, I take a quick assessment of my surroundings. I'm like, is me and Bay fighting? Am I being a crankpot? Am I doing this? Am I bullshitting? <laughs> And then if I'm doing something cool, I go, oh, fuck yeah. It's like, it's a quick, like, catch you. It freezes me up. And I yeah, go, right. a little update. A little Am re- I doing it, something good? It wakes me up out of my bullshit. And I go, oh, shit. You know, dude, obviously, you got to wake up when you're sleeping. I wake up like 10 times a day, bro. Yeah. It's no, it, it really isn't that big of a deal. I wake up whenever the good Lord wakes me up. And then I heard go that. about my day and I enjoy the paradise that he created for me. Heard that. And I live it to the fullest. I can't wait. You can't, you know. You're, you're Adam, dude. Fucking you're, you're I'm Adam. just enjoying this. I'm enjoying the fucking. I'm enjoying Eden, baby. Heard that? I'm. I'm a. You know, I'm. I'm whipping myself. I'm. You know. I just love the Lord, dude. I'm fucking. <laughs> just... No, nah, I'm whipping myself pretty hard. Although, uh, dude, how fucking great is our God? That did you watch it? I watched the first fifteen minutes of it. How great is our God? He's good. He's good. I'm waiting. It gets. Waiting. There's. It, I'm waiting it, for it to takes ramp off up a little. I'm waiting for it to ramp no, up. No, no, no. Give it time, my friend. I believe it. I believe Around, it. Did you get to it when he was talking about God? Yeah, that was like the very beginning. No, it, it, well, first, didn't you say first 15 minutes? Yeah. I think around 15 or 16 is when he's talking about, like, if God came back and talked to us. Saw that. That was I'm great. Just, I'm mad at him right now, bro. Why? He's dogging. He's dogging. Oh, he's dogging me? Yeah, I was watching. Oh, like, no, I was don't like worry this. about it. <laughs> I was, dude, at the end, he gave a fucking thank you to a bunch of uh, the, all his openers. Yeah. I didn't open for him, but I was still like looking at it like, come on. <laughs> Put my name in there. That'd be fun, right? Well, that'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, but, it, it's uh, funny. It, all of his stuff's funny. The last couple ones I've watched the first time, like, not bad. Then I rewatched them. I'm like, God damn it. This is fucking hilarious. No, this, this one is, it took me a minute, but there's some in here. Dude, the retarded bit. Did you get to that yet? I didn't see no, that yet. I mean, dude, he is he's God, dude. He's the God comic. He's he don't is get me God. wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't my know. Bar, if it's my close. bar for him. So if anyone else was doing True. any of this special, I'm like, man, this guy's so funny. I watch him and I'm like fully like, all right, I need to have my mind blown now. And the, he really well, does he does he did a couple that were like 
pretty he he goes with like premises that are very like like god coming back it's like i wish yeah. god would just say something we yeah. could all but then when he, what he does say like what god would say he's like i gave you guys all these animals it doesn't matter who you're fucking but i put all these animals here for you guys to fuck yeah you just keep eating them <laughs> yeah i saw it it's like you guys are eating perfectly fuckable pigs yeah i saw that i seen that incredible incredible i'm waiting That's i'm waiting art. for him to blow my sock he's blown my socks off so many times i'm waiting for he'll him get to you blow. going he'll I'm, get you I going know he will. but yeah i'm dude, excited i'm dude he's he's the fucking god dude he's goat i can't wait to read all the uh all the articles about how it sucks and his hack and it's played out by the same publications that praise just about every single special that no real comic actually enjoys oh yeah i mean dude, like if you go around not to be not to fucking comic not to be a fucking douche about being a comedian. Comic-Con. Not to fucking comic out right now, but <laughs> if you go and talk to any real stand-up comedian and be like, hey, what do you think of any special that any of these pussy-ass websites promote? They'll all be like, oh, that, that special sucked. Yeah. Like, everybody, like, it's clearly not funny. Yeah, dude. And then when a good, funny special comes out, like Chappelle or Louie or something like that, they're all like, this is hateful and bad. Like, it's dude. Still- it's a national level. It's a fucking micro. Good grip. Same thing happened in Philadelphia stand up. Same thing's happening nationally. Ooh, speaking think? of, what? I got two good tweets this week. What? Two really good tweets. One was this guy who talked shit on me nonstop that I knew. Mm-hmm. He got COVID. So I he hit that tweet. He announced that he had COVID. So I liked that tweet. So <laughs> pretty funny. happy about that. <laughs> and then uh, one of it. our, yeah, I hearted that he was like, he announced he had COVID with what like a rest. Of, he had like the air t- tubes oh, in his nose. He was in the Jesus hospital. Christ. Like, I'm okay. I was like, like you fucking loser. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to get it and die. But uh, I'm not going to tweet about it. And uh, yeah, you're gonna go die quietly under the deck. Go right under the deck. I'm gonna sneak away from everybody. (laughs) It'll probably hit me on the way to Arizona, dude. I'll probably die in like Oklahoma. Know what I thought would be funny to do? I was thinking about doing ordering some blood capsules offline and just walking down the street and biting them and be like, (laughs) (laughs) it'd be very funny, but it's uh, you know, it's it's terrible. (laughs) I know it's terrible, but god, sounds like some like shitty YouTubers prank. I know. But God damn it, that would be fun. Just to do that and just run away and never tell anyone. You do that. Just for my own pleasure. Yeah. Just my own pleasure. Yeah, literally don't film it. Just keep or doing just, it by yourself. Just don't even just bite down and let it just come out of my mouth and be like, oh God, and just run into my house. And people are like, holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> holy shit. He's got it. Yeah, zombie out. Yeah, I, I you might. You could zombie I might, out. I like, might undead. Like, ah, ah, I might start undead. Start sprinting at Dude, someone. You could IRL zombie right now. People would run from you. If you were just like, ah, yeah, and just start running. Like, oh my God, I'd run. I'd get the fuck out. <laughs> Actually, that would work any day, no matter where you are. It would really work now. That would be I so know. scary. If you had like six people, would be like, ah, and walk. Dude, people would legitimately be like, holy fuck. You get shot. If you zombed out, <laughs> you tried to zombie out. Is it illegal to zombie? Can you, you zombie start out? open fire? <laughs> Are you allowed? Would you get in trouble for zombieing right now? Yes. Why? Why? Why can't you zombie? Uh, it's like yelling fire in a movie theater. I, although I don't even know if that's illegal, to be honest. You can't yell gun in a. You can't be like get down. If they have a movie, yeah, you, you can't, can't go to a bank and be like. <laughs> That'd be nice if you could. If you could just be like, everyone, give me your fucking money. JK. No, I'm just, and then if, if it doesn't work, be like, all right, never mind. I was joking. Dude, the YouTube bank robbery prank. Hold on. I got number two. I got what? number two. Uh, local Philly comic. Did you see this? No. One of our one of our buddies from that old theater we used to call Philly's home. Philly's finest? Just our, our old favorite theater we used to love. One of Philly's yep. finest. Uh, he, he tweeted. Uh, he, put out a, he put out his Venmo on Twitter because he needs money. Ooh, and I asked tough. people he fucking openly begged on twitter for money ah man i liked it you liked it i liked that dude that's so fucked begging on What's twitter cool to beg, dude that's a, for you, money yeah but dude it's a whole different whole different uh anyway please join our patreon yeah please yeah well, we work hard <laughs> but hey we work hard. we don't want no no handouts around here dude We're working hard around here but yeah, that is cool to be like, what's going on? Be like, well, I was begging this week. People are like, oh, man, it's fucking awesome. Fuck, that was my last beer. Shit. BRB. You'd head it. You, you want to take a break? No, I was just going to grab a beer. It's oh, right there. Go grab a beer. 
Go get a beer. Say something to the people, bro. I'll tell, I'll tell the people what's going on. My headphones are on. I can uh, hear you. Go, dude, listen to this. So I, uh, I deep dove two days ago, and I'm on my couch, and I, I literally, Shane, I know you hear me right now. You're in the fridge. I raised my vibration. I, I don't know how many megahertz. It's was, it was not a lot. You can't look. If you think you're going to raise like, I mean, if you think you're going to raise up to like, like 200, 528 pure megahertz, and there's no way. But I think I got up to like 423 <laughs> or so. What do you think about that? Shut up. I, I'm not lying, dude. <laughs> I did the deep dive on the couch. It was did a, you do it? It was a rough, dude. It was a, I, I came out of it white faced. Oh, fuck. We got to, we got to, I'm sorry. We got to do the fucking uh, stink tank soon. Yeah, man. Those fucking shrooms are burning a hole in my wallet. They're, they're, they're flying, huh? There's a, right, there's sorry. A, there's a hole in the bottom. No, we know. I, 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 I think we should them. do it. We should do it in a week because I had a, uh, I had a bit of a hair raising deep dive on the old couch there. You see Matilda laying on. Dude, it was, it was, uh, I think it's because I'm not getting that much sleep. So, yeah, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, but it's it's also like, dude, try getting yourself in a fucking transcendental state low on sleep, dude. It's fucking Rob Zombie time. It was I you just let you get yourself to a spot where you just let your brain do whatever it wants and dude, it was full what? on rumpus, dude. What did it, it was, think about? Uh what the fuck was I doing? Dude, I you know I you know I journal all this down in my uh God damn. I journal this all this in my meditation journal. Live it's what was live, going on? Bro. It's all it's all there. It's a secret DOS floating around, dude. I'll send it to you. No, you don't have us. to. No, you should check it out, dude. You should, <laughs> you <should check> it <laughs> no, you should check it out. Dude, I, well, I, I want to read your fucking it's dream like not journal. Read, dude. It's, it's, it's not read. It's view. It's listen. It's all technology. Dude, it's pure tech. It's Wait, so tech. it's just you talking during a meditation? 20-minute clips. No, I afterwards. Need to I, hear come, it. I come and recap them. Dude, are you sure you want me to listen to that? Yeah, dude. I put, dude, I, I put it out. Oh, you put it online? It's floating around, dude. God it's damn, the content you put is up. It? Where <laughs> is it? Nobody knows. It's probably on the page, dude. Somewhere. The, I'm probably um, co-signing off of some fucking wild rant. <laughs> dude, it's a... Uh, well, when I did it... So I did it yesterday. I always set an intention. Whenever I do the deep dive, you do it without... I'm happy even, for you, and I'm sorry that I, I don't, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm happy and excited. Fucking, that. It's a crazy... It's ridiculous, dude. It's totally it ridiculous. Is. All right, good. I want you to know that. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> good. I want you to but know. But I'm telling you, it's a wave of the future. I mean, dude, stand up is one thing to go out. If you come out of a just a pure wax state and you just go, bam, it's it's straight. It's it's might be too. It's a fentanyl, dude. It's too much. <laughs> come out. It's it's the purest of the pure, dude. It's unbelievable. It's so fun, dude. I'm saying it's the funnest <sighs> thing to do. You come out of this like whacked out state and you go, boom. You start talking, stream of consciousness. It's it's a lot of fun. But Man. the um, Dude, I, so I set the intention. I'm like, I got to write all every time before I do my deep dives and meditate. My intention is always to stop arguing with Bay. <laughs> like every week, I'm like, please let us stop fighting. And but, uh, dude, that's Bay. That's up to Bay, bro. No, no, you're wrong, dude. You're wrong. It's up to Bay. It's not, dude. It's up to you. You cannot put that in the hands. You up have the to, Bay? You have to raise. Look, I have to you got to fucking. I, I guess I kind of suck at being in a relationship. So who am I to talk? Oh, dude, why are you getting down yourself? Well, I watched the breakup last night. <laughs> What's, the... <laughs> What's the breakup? You ever watched the breakup? Is that like Paul Rudd? No, it's Vince Vaughn. And, Vince uh, Vaughn. That was a good movie. It's a great movie, but it always reminded me of uh, my ex. Was that where he has like... And the, me. The part... There's he, like a... The sluts, end... He has sluts come over to his house at one point, and she's like, ugh. Yeah. There's a couple parts where some of the speeches really hit home. What happened? What like O'Connor was sitting behind me like, do you hear that? What, what do they say? I don't know. Nothing. I'm what getting you, emo, bro. What do you think you need to work Everybody's on? getting emo during quarantine, and they're thinking about their exes, dude. That's how quarantines work. Oh. Quarantines are all about time to reflect on bays, ex-bays. True. And hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean... Once the shit lifts, I'm going to, I cannot wait to just like go to a restaurant and be around people. I'm going to be genuinely excited to like, be can't wait to do party. fucking stand up, bro. Yeah, that'll be fun. Too. That was my literally my entire identity and self worth. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> entirely. 
I've been monitoring. I've been, I mean, I, I don't see it, but I've been monitoring you for a little. I'm like, I wonder how Shane is doing with this. Cause like, you can tough, lock, man. you can lock me in a crate for like two years, dude. <laughs> I can sit and fuck around and flip yeah. around. You can put me back in the womb any day of the week. And I'm chilling. But, as long as no one else is doing anything, I guess I'm okay. Like if other, if I was the only one not allowed to do stand up, it would kill me. It would destroy me. Dude. Imagine that. If you just oh. got quarantined. Oh, I've that experienced was... that on a micro level by watching SNL. Yeah. Like seeing it and not being able to be a part of it and being like, this shit sucks. I could do better than this. Yeah, it sucks. I should be doing that. I mean, that's what happened when I went to Spain and watched other people do stand up. That's why I was like, I need to do stand up. That's the best thing my, you can do is watch life. other people do it and be like, they suck. Sit I'm back gonna... and see other people do it and be like, oh, man, this sucks. I wish I was doing it. Yeah. And right now it really sucks because I was kind of, things were kind of like on the up and up. I was yeah, kind of getting, I was, dude, I was about to do South by Southwest. That would have been a big moment. You're booming and bunking, bro. That would have been big. Then Moon Tower right after that. Then Skank Fest and all that. Like it was, things were good. But Well, I, I will say, you know, this planet hates alt comedy. So it's trying to shake it off its back right now. True. It certainly does, dude. Alt comedy is I just. Think this, I think this is the planet's response to alt comedy. Kobe, the planet, <laughs> actually Gaia, right. dude. Gaia was like, what is this? This fucking sucks. <laughs> I think you're exactly right, dude. People are like, the planet's trying to kill us for global warming. It's like, no, 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 no. It loves global warming. It hate, it's, it's chilly. The planet's chilly, dude. It's hyped we're doing this. What it really hates is fucking <laughs> the pussies. <planet's> chilly. <laughs> the planet was chilly, dude. That's true. I mean, It dude, loves it. The fucking ice ages? Did we forget about the? I haven't forgot about the ice age. Haven't forgot about How, the flood. I, for, dude, is is Earth a woman or not? Uh, Earth is a lady. Everybody yes. knows it's Mother Earth. Gaia. How? Yeah. When's the last time a mother hasn't been cold? You gotta good, warm up your mommies. Good question. Mother yeah. Earth needs warmed up. Yep, I All hear right. you on that. I hear you. I like. Dude, that. There actually has been some pretty funny arguments about like global warming being bullshit. <laughs> like the fucking they're like we stopped riding boats in venice for like a month and the water's crystal clear. like well don't get just promote yeah anyway don't get global warming twisted with uh pollution bro two different things don't get the climate hooks twisted with pollution Man, pollution is fucking, a different thing don't you're gonna fucking make me look like a horse's ass on this now, how are you gonna make you look like a horse's you're ass trying to make me look like a horse's <laughs> ass right now i got real into a guy recently it was just he just was talking that mess and i was liking it i went to his website and it was just like and please take a minute let's all acknowledge the climate hoax and i was like god damn it i like this guy i want to get into this guy. he had like it this uh, guy was against secret society so he was starting his own i told you about this secret society dude all those guys are retarded all these no, secret this, society most of the conspiracy secret society i know i just got red pilled and this is counter counter you know into it yeah whatever fuck words yeah. the most of these guys are retards Alex Jones is brilliant. Alex Jones is clearly brilliant. Well, he's, but either, like, either way, dude, if, he, if he's kidding, he, he's the funniest person alive. If he's not kidding, he's even funnier. It, <laughs> regardless, yeah, dude, I agree. Alex Jones definitely rules. Alex Jones fucking rules. Yeah. Agreed, 100%. But it is funny to watch him be like bringing in do, like a doctor and yeah. then be like, doctor, what do we need? What's coronavirus doing to us? And he's like, you just need zinc. <laughs> And uh, vitamin D3. And he's like, that's perfect. We're selling zinc and vitamin D3 on our website. Do you ever see when uh, – so I don't know if you ever noticed when he first takes calls, the first caller is always like, hey, Alex, got to say, I just love what you're doing out here. I just took the supplements, <laughs> man. It, every time his first caller calls in like to say how much he loves him, how awesome he is, and how awesome his supplements are. His he supplements definitely plant. are. Alex he's Jones is Jack. Calls. Oh, he's – dude, he's – Alex Jones is the man. Shoot. He is the man. Fuck he's getting papered, bro. Rules. He's getting papered. And he's getting papered. But yeah, I mean, dude, I was watching. Uh, I was telling you about the David Icke thing, where David dude, Icke it's was just like, the Patriots. It's the Patriots right now versus the globalist Satanists trying to shut us down. What are you? Oh, I do. Name I'm, somebody. I'll, name somebody. I'll give you one word that. <laughs> it was a globalist. It's pretty. It's pretty easy. You name one person. I'll did tell you, you the first word that the comes video? to mind. <laughs> name a word. I'll tell you the first word that comes. Up. Give me your name. LeBron James. Retard. <laughs> 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 Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, Satanist, Hillary Clinton, Satanist. Oh wait, vampire. <laughs> George Bush, vampire. Elon Musk, scared man. <laughs> that might be the funniest fucking video. <laughs> vampire, it retard, idiot. Yeah, they're like Colin Kaepernick, retard. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James, retard. 
Barack Obama. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. Scared man. Very scared man. Yeah, that might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. But dude, what they, is it? Alex Alex Jones. What did he say for him? What or, no, say? no. They're like Donald Trump. Next level. Next level. <laughs> Next level. Next level. <laughs> Yo, oh how sick God. was Trump? Fuck. How Trump on the model? Did you what hear do you that? Do? No, what do you do? It, during his one of his conferences, he was like, uh, "The next, the model coming out says a lot of like death." So he's like, "And I didn't, I wasn't there for the model. I wasn't involved in any model, at least not this type of model." <laughs> he said that. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> speech on the, from the white house <laughs> dude, he fucking he's next he rules, level dude. he's next that's, level that's dude. next level dude that's next level dude. dude oh my god and it's so well this is what i want to know are we going to see the fucking debate between him and joe oh bro. it has to happen i think why i think biden's trying to weasel out of the debate i don't think i've heard biden talk in a month dude i think biden's dead he, he be, hashtag you are you quit bringing up hashtag where's joe Joe is dead. That was a big thing that popped up. Hashtag where's Joe? The only person anybody's seen for the last month is Jess Trump dog. Bernie's been totally out of the news. Nobody wants to touch it, dude. Biden's out of the news. Dude, please let fucking, please bring Joe Biden into the same room as Trump and let them debate and see what happens <laughs> to that guy. Dude. Well, I think when they did hashtag where is Joe, Joe had like his press team got together. And I think Joe pretty much came out and was like, let me tell you something. I hate coronavirus. <laughs> it's just bullshit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I was here, we'd have not had this. Oh, fuck. All right. I'm done. Thanks. Joe He's like, Biden. wait, isn't that my time? I'm like, no, nope. Joe, this is your commercial. He's like, time's up. Uh, catch me at Joe Biden at AOLfucking.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe, Biden's, Joe Biden only sends those long forward emails. <laughs> That's his campaign. <laughs> That's his private server. <laughs> his whole campaign. This to three people. <laughs> For this hot dog, hot dog, chestnut, chestnut. For this, three people and you will have sex with the kid. <laughs> Did you see the picture of him holding a baby and his his hand is under its crotch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. That's a classic, dude. Dude, if they debate classic. and Trump gets to digital graffiti him and just bring up pictures behind him as he talks of him like groping kids, that would be the fun. That literally thing. should be every single debate. Is your opponent gets to bring those up behind you while you describe your platform? Oh my god, that'd be so fucking funny. Man, digital graffiti is the best. It is the fucking best. Helium wanted to do that online on here, and I said no. No, nah, can't do that. I don't want to. I don't want to sully the just literally the perfect. Yeah, that's pure. literally perfect comedy. No, that's that's pure, dude. You can't have that. Oh man, but um, retard. Oh yeah, he fucking name me retard. name me a worker for name me an employee from Helium. <laughs> <laughs> retard, retard, <laughs> retard. <laughs> Jerry, uh, Jerry, Jerry, next level. <laughs> Redo. You think Jerry's next level? <laughs> no, no, Christian. No, Christian's next level, dude. No, Christian, retard. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, Christian, evil hippie. <laughs> evil hippie. <laughs> He's Brandon, the, Brandon, the door guy. Retard. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's next level, dude. Who Brandon, the door guy? Who's Brandon? <laughs> they fired him. I think they fired that guy, dude. What about Brad, the bartender? Next level. He's Brad's next, next level. level, dude. Brad's actually next level. Brad's next of level. Everybody there, That's so Brad's funny. Nobody level. has any ben, idea what we're talking ben? about. Ben? Ben? <laughs> who's, who's that? Oh, <laughs> Coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, Ben's next level, dude. Ben is next. I'm kidding, dude. Ben's obviously next level. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's gonna be so funny for the thirteen people who understand what we're talking about. Oh man, you know what? You know, including him, he's gonna watch this. It's obviously Ew. gonna get back to all of them. <laughs> Retard. <laughs> Retard. Owners. Oh fuck. <laughs> Tight wads. <laughs> yes. I don't think so. I think they might be next level. I got some insider information, dude. Yeah. I got some they are insider next. information because I was worried because I was like, oh, damn, but all these comedy clubs are going to close. I was talking to my uh, tightwads from L.A., <laughs> <laughs> my, my agents. <laughs> my tightwads. My I TWs. My tightwads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! Well, the, the TWT, TWT say, dude, tight wad <laughs> team. To- my team, t- I got some new tight wads. Um, I just signed with a new t- agency. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please let me get in trouble for calling Jewish people Taiwans. <laughs> I might have to pull. I wish I had the capability of making that like public ass- access, like rainbow thing right now, like pause emergency broadcasting, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, <it's> like, uh, <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the Alex Jones voice, Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of your agents, Taiwans? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. Damn, Jackson, get the fuck out of here! Damn, dude, that's I'm crying, funny. baby. That's so fucking funny, dude. Oh, yeah, what's hilarious? You want to see something funny? What? These are just sitting here. Uh, I wanted to send these to Billy and Spud. What, they what do you repellent? think? What do you think of that symbol on the mosquito repellent? Oh, dude, that's PC Gate. <laughs> Zika virus. Back, huh, dude? <laughs> this is mosquito repellent, also boy <laughs> pellant. It pell it pells the boys. Damn, it repels dude. Repels mosquitoes. What do you think? Zika virus is a bioweapon? <sighs> Definitely. Oh, actually, yes. It actually is. Is, is it really? Yes. Does it make people's dude. heads huge? It, no, it makes them really small. Oh, okay. Never mind. My it makes uh, actually, if you Google it and look at the babies, they actually kind of look like uh, they, it just makes your baby look like Baby Yoda. Really? Just, just fucking. Is, screen is share. anybody? Is anybody? Uh, screen share and Google Zika baby. Has anybody uh, questioned Rick Moranis about the potential science behind this? <laughs> no, I. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Moranis, you're wanted by the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. No, Zika, Zika, I think, was a, a government. It was a, They were trying to kill brown people. What? Yeah, dude, these people hate human lives. These are globalist Satanists. True, Satanists, obviously. They, they were trying to... The whole point that... Look at the UN, dude. You can look at the UN's website. They're not afraid to tell you exactly what they're doing. What are they up to? They're ready. They're trying to get rid of the human population. Sure, they're trying to kill us. They're trying to kill half the human population, dude. They're, this is Thanos. I mean, dude, if I had that much money, I might kill half the human population. Yeah, I'm broke, and I'd like to kill half of us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get out of here. The um, fuck. You looking up that Zika baby? It looks exactly like Baby Yoda for me. Let me see. 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 Jackson, hold on. I gotta pause it. No, don't pause it. Don't pause it. I want to see you chase him off. Knock it off. I mean, I'll get him out of here. Yeah. Oh, get, get, Tilly, you Tilly. Come on. <laughs> he always looks like he's wearing a thong. He's got a fat ass, dude. If I was a chick, I'd definitely fuck Matt. <laughs> what up, baby? What up, dude? That was a sick roll. That was yeah, actually dude, a pretty good roll. Jiu-jitsu, bro. Shoulder roll. You do that in a fight. No, you do that. Uh, just training. <laughs> oh, just stuff. warming up. Train. That's warming up, dude. I saw. I might do that if someone's stunting on me. Roll at them. Let me see. All right. Oh fuck, man. Share screen. Let me see here. All right. Let me pull. Let me pull this thing. Up. I don't even know if it's worth it. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, it might be pretty sad. Let's just see. Just for Zika. But yeah. Oh man. That's oh yeah. Look at that. Horrible. Third one I'm in. Not looking at that. Dude. Go back to that. They all look like fucking. Uh... Baby Yoda, dude. dude. That's horrifying. <laughs> what Zika babies? Yeah. Does their heads ever grow back? I don't know. Look at that third one in. Tell me that's not Baby Yoda. Oh Jesus Christ! Oof. You get a Baby Yoda if you had Zika virus. Oh man. There's gonna be, dude. That was all se- s- fucking like Central America, dude. We're gonna be running into. There's gonna be a bunch of dudes with small heads playing for the Yankees in like ten years. <laughs> just sliding into home and just shattering both person's ankles <laughs> coming in like a javelin dude straight fucking into home base <laughs> just impales they the catcher built like arrows <laughs> <laughs> just impales the catcher oh my oh, god man. that's terrifying Damn. oh but what i was saying is is that the only symptom of it 
you just feel you're like a minor cold and you have a baby and you're like oh what the fuck well when yeah, babies come know. out all their their heads are usually jacked up yeah because the snat the snatch fucking smashes their head yeah dude they're in the mine came out mine had like the mars attack to the back of the head when she first when she first came out she was oh in dude the you thing. should kept it that's what well they come out you should kept it like the like the celts or this they used to do that like the yeah. barbarians, dude, and the Huns. You should you should have fucking wrapped that baby's head like that and I, make it grown like an alien head. <laughs> they used to do that. Did they really? Yeah, the Goths, maybe I forget who it was. Why did they but do the that? Romans? The Romans used to. They were like afraid of them because they had they came up and fucking. Yeah, they would come in with giant fucking heads and fight them. <laughs> They're barbarians with like fucking animal heads. <laughs> they would do it on purpose. Did and they then really? it, like yeah yeah yeah. Just as just as like flex points, just just to be like, yo, I got a fucking back of my head is a foot long. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just yeah, because you can get cone. A lot of babies get coned up. You get like literal cone head. Yeah, my uh, damn, that's my nephew tough. has like a flat back of his head. Yeah, he my got dad's left got on that. the floor. Yeah, my dad's got flat. I mean, I, he just he claims that he was left on the floor and they made him watch too much TV when he was little. But he has like a perfectly square head. He's like a Lego man <laughs> head. <laughs> back of his the back of his head is like perfectly flat. Yeah, it's probably because he got he got laid on the floor when he was a kid. Yep. Square ass fucking head. I definitely have a flat head, dude. No, I'm you don't. Floor baby. You got you probably got a nice barbarian bulge in the back of you. Mm-hmm. I I'm gonna go to Rome right now and see what they think about. I have a big enough head. I think I could scare Romans if I shave my you know head. You know Rome. They what? started uh, the Romans started copying the barbarians like fashion and shit. Yeah, I heard about that with the Celts. They got kind of yeah. They're like, "Yo, this is cool to be fucking edgy and fucking have a wild head." <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, fucking head, <laughs> giant head for no reason. That's probably the only reason I'm alive now. It's because like a thousand years ago, it was like kind of hot to have a humongous head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some blockhead walking around. <laughs> like damn, look at these fucking. I was head. talking about the all right. So the tightwads, I think, are hanging up. <laughs> uh, what what do you got to say? So I was. I was afraid that uh, the clubs were going to be fucked, you know, yeah. comedy clubs. But all yeah. I heard through the grapevine, the tightwad grapevine, that a couple of the tightwads are thinking about buying up all those tightwads. Really? No, the tightwads are buying up all the clubs that are closing. So, like, there's still – there's expansionist tightwads. Yes. Yeah, I know. So, our God is great. Thank dude. God. The, First of the all, The comedy clubs God. are going to be open. Ooh. I was genuinely worried. Yeah, that would fucking suck, dude. That would fuck me what up. What would you do? I'm actually curious about this. What would you do if it was just like for the next three years or like, hey, man, you know, we'll Is send like you. No stand up for three years? Yeah. What the fuck would you do? I don't know. We'd probably I'd try to, I guess, act with tires, make tires. Nice. Tires, there's four or five of us. We just, we, we're going to do that anyway. True. This well, might be the thing that finally takes stand up out. It's not. There's no way. No, it'll, it'll be if it takes stand-up out it's going to take out live music theater plays like all that shit sure i'll never let theater sporting die. events i'll never let theater die. it's, it's you're not gonna, gonna, you're gonna think you're gonna think this thing's gonna kill fucking that no it's not gonna do it they, they're also uh talking Doubtful. about letting uh people write off entertainment and restaurants again used to be able to like take clients out and entertain them and write that all off and i think they're going to put that back into effect so that way whoa that'd be sick it's a pretty good idea, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh fuck! That we could take, we could entertain people, dude. We are entertainers, dude. Maybe we could. That'd be sick if we worked for like, like if like, uh, like fracking hired us, and we could entertain their clients. Take the Tokyo Partners out for a nice meal. Take the good news, dude. Out. Good news. The pipeline's coming. You mean the partners working the pipeline deal? It's coming, dude. I saw Trump tweeted about it. The pipeline's coming. We need the pipeline. I mean. Good news. Pipelines. He's like, I know this sucks, but good news. <laughs> the pipeline just got approved. People are probably like, <laughs> no. He's like, good news. We finally chased all those Native Americans off their grounds and have the pipeline. <laughs> like, I know you guys are bugging out about the plague, <laughs> but we definitely bullied them out of the way now. So we'll be good. Good. We need the pipeline, dude. Yeah, we need to have more oil, dude. That's such a funny move, too. As soon as we're, like, kind of heading towards electric cars, like, good news. <laughs> finally <laughs> fucked up Wyoming. <laughs> we finally fucked and destroyed Wyoming. 2020, we finally conquered those savages. <laughs> it's 2020, and we got them. Man, yep. 
Oh boy, man, that made me laugh so hard, dude. Oh, that's fuck. I took that 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 whacked me out, man. That was it's too so funny. funny. That was too fucking funny for me. That that took that fucked me up, man. Oh man, yeah, dude. I'm. What time? Uh, where are we at? Time wise, what are we doing here? What time is it? Let's let's slide into the page, bro. Let's slide into the page. Let's just drop this. I don't All know. Right. Where, All right. What time did you start? I got I got a, I got a sunset on a boat coming up. I can skip that. No, we'll, we'll, we'll rip a quick one. Nah, for the page. Matt, 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 Matt. People have been asking about the page. Please. They said, we love the old Please. test. We love this OT, but God They damn, do love the old test. They want to hear from the boys, too. Some of them say, hey, we're new tests. We're new test dogs. You just want to hear a little something. This is new test. Also, it's funny, too. Uh, the new test is kind of the exact same as the old test. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. really not that much different. No. I was, I've been going through like the old that, test. Dude, calling Jews tight wads. That's classic old test. <laughs> that's, so fun. that's pretty funny. It is a... Uh, I've been going through the old tests here and there. When I upload them, I'll just go to a random point and hit play. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's so yeah, funny. It's funny. It fun. is wild. It, it is, is wild. so funny. It was I, wish that guy, I, I wish that guy would stop posting them on YouTube. I, dude, I, like I was We asked him to so that we can post our own stuff that we made on our, you know. This is the new, this is the new digital. I thought about that. I was hating. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. And I'm like, he, po- he uh, links to the Patreon. I'm like, all right. And I've, I've, I've scurried through some of the comments. People are like, oh, dude, I'm all out of these. Because I don't think he has all of them. So people leave from that. And like, I'm going to go link up. So now it's like, dude, the, the, the Patreon uh-huh. frontier is about to get leveled with so much. Dude, I'm about to graduate school. Uh, yeah. I have one more paper to write. I'm done. Oh, fuck. The, the yeah. level of stuff on there is going to be, I mean, there's going to be so much shit on there. Yeah, Patreon's going to be pretty nonstop. We might need to figure out a way to organize it. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. Already ahead of you, brother. But yeah, let's yeah, let's slide in, let's slide in the page, um, bro. We're talking. All right, this. thanks for thanks for listening, y'all. Good app. Uh, well, it's funny thinking about know. everyone listening. Everyone who's listening to this has just been either in like it's funny too because I've had a dude hit me up who's just in like a, a laser machine shop. who will just like play the cast, play the, all the people in there. So you're either like in like a laser shop or you're just at your house. Every we're all collectively <laughs> losing our. This is collective psychosis at this point. It we're is all tough. Fucking losing it. We're all losing. Every it. day I wake up, just like Jesus Christ, is this? Like every time I wake up, I'm like, "This is still going." This is fucking this is nuts, man. I feel bad for my bae. Just had a fucking kid. Can't go see uh, people. Can't go see like family and shit. Or family. That's the only point here. for bays to have kids, dude. It's to just, collect just, the glory, dude. Yeah, they're about to like watch, you know, our daughter grow and develop. And now, like, dude, every day she's getting bigger and bigger. Her parents. Oh, yeah, like true. Her, Your kids are gonna come out of the house like fucking twenty eight. Dude, my kids are gonna be like <laughs> bad boy Bubby, dude. My kids are gonna come out bad boy Bubby. <laughs> Wait, yeah, your kid's how old right now? Fuck, man, One. like a month. Yeah, it's like a month right. and a week. How old am I? I'm 32. Yeah. Are you trying to unite the clans, bro? I could unite the clans. I thought you were marrying my sister. Well, your sister hasn't even fucking called or texted me. You have to court her, dude. You have to call my parents. They'll arrange a date, and they'll walk behind you with their hands behind their back, and you can walk around the compound and just tell her about all the cool stuff you know of and all the cool stuff she'll show her. Like, and then uh, one time uh, I almost got a snail and like, you know, I said some things and they fired me. Uh, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then the tight wads. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's the tight fucking... wads fired me and then different tight wads hired me. And then the tight wads thought that they could make money off me. She'll, be, she'll just look up at you innocently and be like, who are the tight wads? And you'll be like, my innocent darling, don't even worry about it. Let's you just go. Let's walk down to that <laughs> pond again. Your dad dug out of the fucking ground. <laughs> It's just the- mud pool. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> a pool of mud. You just right. fill. He would try to fill it with fish, and every year a big snapping turtle would just murder all of his fish. I like it. Yeah, man. Let's slide. Let's do a little page. I got right. a little, little, little page. It's too late. I mean, we can page as long as you want. I'm gonna or miss we- the sunset. It's bright, dude. I can see it outside. <laughs> Well, outside. it doesn't matter. Connor's bitch ass isn't even back yet. I told him I wanted to go. I told him I wanted to go on a nice sunset ride, and his bitch ass isn't even back. Really? Is he fishing? No, he's out with his fucking lady. He brought a lady down here. He's like little rascals, dude, out on the boat. He's a real fucking dingus, dude. He's he he did little rascal us big time. <laughs> he just literally just as soon as we got to his as soon as his bay came to this house, he disappeared. The boat was gone. No, I mean just him from the group, just him really? and his bay. <laughs> Scurrying around, dude. So you're left. You're left of the president of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Do you left? I'm alone. left. Yes. That's bullshit. It is bullshit. It stinks. It's junk. Don't break it up. 
I have broken it up several times. I was like, hey, you know, Chris shit his pants last week. (laughs) (laughs) Chris has found love, dude. You should destroy it. Oh, dude. All right. Day one, when that lady showed up, Chris immediately was like awake before noon, which he, he was waking up. Dude, I was waking him up at. I was waking him up. I was coming into his room at like 1.30 or 2 p.m. and being like, hey, bud, <laughs> what's going on? He was literally staying up till 6 or 7 a.m. drinking by himself. Yeah, some of us need to be under the... Uh... And then his bae shows up and he immediately is like eating... A, he was eating fucking yogurt in the morning and I was pissed, dude. I saw him eating yogurt. I almost slapped it out of his hands. Oh, my, like, it's so fucking funny. What the funny. fuck are you doing? And then he's like, no, I'm going to build a fire and then we'll go out and fish. It'll be a good day. Then we grill up some burgers. I'm like, you fucking some of traitor us need to, to yourself. Some of us need to be under the auspices of a bay otherwise you just spin there's dudes out there my dad claims he's like i would have died if i never married your mom he's like i was just dying drinking eating he's like i need a girl to be like no he's like okay sorry 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 yeah i know but yeah it's fun to watch someone else spin dude it's fun to watch him spin but that's the other thing too you can't lose your frame dude i mean there's a lot of guys out here are fucking slut makers dude which i can't stand what do you mean slut maker so when you What's have that? sex, if you have sex with a girl that you don't want to make kids with, dude, you're making a slut. You're a slut maker. That better not be a slut maker, dude. You got to find All a right. girl. <laughs> All right. Let's do a side <laughs> of the page. We got to talk bays in the page. All right. Hurry up. All right. Later. <laughs>